Alright guys, let me combine something first. FNAF VHS. What you're seeing right here is a VHS tape. And uh, yeah. Hey Freddy, how are you doing? Uh <laughs> so guys, if you don't know, um, I have this channel called Forgotten Terror. It is on it is on my um, featured channels. Or the my other channels um, thing, um, and I've been getting a lot of success on it. I, I have 240 subscribers. Just released a new video called Suspect Test, which is from my new FNAF VHS series called Anomaly Archives, which basically is checking if there's any anomalies. Of the animatronics <laughs> but today as a FNAF VHS creator what if I react to Five Nights at Freddy's VHS tapes and by the way these videos will be in the link in the description so you can check them out yourselves so let's check out maintenance report S okay straight away we're getting jump scares <laughs> it was already at the end, so we know this guy's gonna die. Alright, so I've managed to finally roll this thing in here, so I guess let's go ahead and get started. Now. Unweathered Bonnie. The boss wants me to run through this maintenance report, so hopefully we can figure out why this thing has been acting up lately. Uh, we're also opening a new location next year, so what's most likely gonna happen is I'm okay. gonna have to strip okay. this thing apart so we can use it for spare parts for the newer animatronic models. True. So let's go ahead and see what I need to do first. You gotta scrap them. You gotta scrap them. Alright then. We will need as many parts as we can salvage from our remaining animatronics. These may include servos, wires, circuit boards, or pieces from the endoskeleton. Insert the floppy disk titled Animatronic Movement Test Program into the computer to test each of the animatronics joint movements. Alright. Okay. Sounds simple enough. All right, let's get the computer on, get this thing hooked up, and let's see how this movement test goes. All right. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Oh. <laughs> okay. I actually didn't know this. Um, I guessing me and Spectre do the same thing because. All right, this is my hand right here. And this is my recent FNAF VHS video. There's my hand right there. Pressing on the keys on the computer. Um, I actually didn't know that me and Spectre actually do the same thing. Put our realistic hand inside of the animation. Wait, that's so awesome. What the hell? Yes, yeah, like every single joint. Like... Like... You can see that as well. That's Fredbear's family diner, I can see there. Would you like to proceed? Yes. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and start with the head movements first. And then we'll just go down the rest of the body. Alright. Alright. Okay, well then. Looks like the neck and jaw joints are functioning normally. So I'm gonna put this camera down with it so I can. Oh, it's looking straight at him. That's strange. I guess very that's strange. Kind of circuit, Actually function. very strange. I'm not sure why it's okay. What the hell? What uh, yeah, turn that off. Right. Okay, so let me just go ahead and make sure everything is connected right, get it all rebooted, and then we'll pick up where we left off. Alright. Oh, you're behind the animatronic. Okay, so just checking the circuits now on the back of the head here. Oh, look they at all that rust. Shorted. These control the neck and jaw servos, and yeah, they seem to have been shorted. So that means the head won't move unless all of the electronics are completely gutted and replaced. 
Thankfully, I'm All not right. repairing this piece of junk, so I guess I'll just leave everything how it is. Yeah, thankfully. <coughs> okay, it's only about to the computer. All right, so let's do the ears. Okay, so he's checking the ears. Okay. Huh. Why aren't they moving? Huh. I don't think they work. I All mean, right. it's so quite of a rotten animatronic, so of course it would be like um, so I guess the some of the things aren't working. Alright, let's try the arms instead, I guess. Honestly, what I just think they could have just scrapped them since they're rotten. But I don't think William Afton wants to listen. Okay. That seems to be working fine. I bet he's just Great. up to something a lot. we can salvage something from the endoskeleton. So let's try the other one now. Alright, he's checking the arm. Oh, you can see that. Look, you can see that right there. It seems like a part... It seems like a... It seems like the part of the arm is, like, torn apart. Um... Because it could be a chance that this thing could break. Like, I don't know, I'm just- I'm just trying to theorize. Jesus Christ! And the arm snapped. <laughs> Jesus, was it really that bad? Damn, okay. So the entire shoulder joint just completely snapped. All of these parts are so grimy and full of rust that these constant failures don't exactly surprise me. Just so, leave I mean, it. I might be able to salvage the forearm and hand, but I don't know how. The best Looks thing to like do is I'll just leave the animatronic. Salvage the left arm, though, which I guess is better than nothing. Damn, this thing stinks. Yeah, because okay. it's rotten. So let's go ahead and take off this left arm now before something kills it too, so I can at least salvage something from this thing. All right. Alright, so as you can see here, I managed to get the left arm taken off. Took a bit of force and, of course, some know how, but here it is. Oh! And as you can see, the wires are. Wait cut. a minute! Wait a minute! Is this the origin of Withered Bonnie? Yeah, be oh, yeah, it is! It is! Because. Look, this is a picture of Withered Bonnie. And he usually. And his, and his left arm has, like, all those strings right there. Um, so, yeah. The hips. Okay. Man. I mean, this thing might as well just collapse right in front of me. I'm surprised they I mean, won't be good. anything from it at all. I mean, that's good. Alright. Kind Let's of. Move on to the leg. I guess. Left leg. Left leg. There it is. Just doing that. Okay, so those seem to be really right. fine. So, yes, yeah, so he's checking the right leg, I think. Yeah. Both legs seem to be working fine. I'll All probably right. stop it to last though when I get finished with everything else because I'll still need this thing standing. Okay, fabric exterior salvage. The new animatronic models will be made from a plastic mold. All right. This means we will need to salvage as many pieces of the fabric layer yeah. as possible. The most important of which <gasps> are the hard to replicate features such as the head, the face, and. It's getting closer. Oh, why is... Why is he asking that? <laughs> this guy's already dead, but doesn't know it. To turn the computer off. He forgot to turn the computer okay, off, he says. So, uh, okay. Anyways, it sounds like I'm just... salvaging the exterior layer now. So let me go ahead and take the other end up parts alongside the fabric piece <sighs> that I actually need.
Oh, he's taking the ears out, is he? He's taking out the ears. Oh, this is. All right. Yeah, this is. With the... that, that should be everything. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so as you That's can see, I've gone the, ahead and taken the, the eyes um, out since the left leg, the left, left foot is that, gone. I also went ahead as we and usually see him with a bunny. And the right hand, since they were Let's just say I'm kind of a FNAF expert, I guess. Turn up and ruined. So, all of those endo parts, along with their exterior pieces, can be boxed up and shipped off. Alright, so that's about everything I can salvage from this right. thing so far. Um, the only thing that could Why also go, but it's hell? giving me a hard time right okay. now, is the head plate here. Back into place. For some what reason, the hell? it what the hell won't budge, and I have no idea why. I've checked for anything that could still be holding it in place, and so far I've found nothing. However, I do remember the report naming the headpiece specifically, so... That means it's one of the main pieces they want. So I don't know. Alright. I guess let me keep cracking at it until something gives. Then I'll restart the recording and let you know what I find out. Oh. Alright. After a bit of force and a few extra cuts, I managed to tear the face off, as you can see down there. So I figured out that the headpiece still wouldn't budge because it's completely glued to the back of the head, which is very Damn. unusual. So if I were to try and force it off, it'll most likely tear in unpredictable directions and make the entire thing unsalvageable. But they did make it sound like the only one of the actual face of the animatronic, so that's down there along with everything I managed to physically scrap from this thing. So we are done with that then. Oh, he's okay, scrapping. Let's see. Oh, he's scrapping it. Oh, yeah. Odor report. Okay then. Odor We've report. We've recently been receiving complaints about smells and unpleasant odors emitting from the animatronic. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. These odors have been described as rotten. Yep, decomposed, like something died inside it. We suspect that perhaps a rodent or animal had accidentally found its way into the animatronic and became trapped with... Yeah, um... Wait, does it show the date? March 15th, 1986. ...or so of the animatronic... What the? Damn it. Not again. Huh. Uh oh. I guess the power went out. Yeah, I might have tripped a breaker or something with all that computer commotion. <sighs> all right. Let's go turn the power back on and hopefully finish up. Wait. What the? The door's locked. Hey! Let me out, guys! This isn't funny! Uh guess let me finish up real quick in the dark. Wait. Oh yeah, it's gone as well. But what if William Afton locked the door? Imagine that. Oh, really? Right now? Come on. Oh, just come like on. <gasps> what? Uh oh. Why is it? Oh god. Oh my god! What the f What the f What the, what the <laughs> Jesus Christ, what Man, was that? Wait, where did he run? Alright, this one is called The Crushing Blow, and it seems like we have a yellow bear. This must be Fred Bear. Um... But let's see. So I'm ready. Let's do this. Hey kids, are you ready to rock and roll? Because we are. Because It is Fred Bear's family diner. Okay. Yes, Fred Bear's family diner. Just come on down and you will see. Okay. Oh, wow! Don't forget to buy Those people look realistic. I love how- I love how, like, creators, like, FNAF VHS creators, also- also I'm a part of it, are, like, this- like, this talented enough to be making these videos. So, uh, yeah. Um, this is just crazy, so let's just continue. So what are you waiting for? Come on down, Fred Bear's family diner. 
where fantasy and fun comes to life. Fantasy and fun come to life. Now for your tape by Bizarre. Quip. Oh, there's Sparky. Wait, what? Sparky? Whoa. Oh, oh, there's William Afton. I know William Afton was in the Spring Bonnie suit, so so I'm guessing the person inside of the Spring Bonnie suit was definitely William Afton. But I don't know who was the other one in the Fredbear suit. One day until the party. Very FNAF Four styled. Hello. Oh, hey, you got it working. Nice. After about a dozen attempts. <laughs> uh, do you need help installing that jaw, or...? Nah, nah, you're good. If I can... <coughs> just... <coughs> there we go. <sighs> you got it in? Yeah. All we need to do now is run a couple of diagnostics, and we should be good to go. Okay. Alright, sweet. Okay, uh, should we start off with some general diagnostics, or should we go straight into some performance routines? Uh, I think it's best if we start off with the diagnostics first. Okay. Uh, there should be a, uh, floppy disk somewhere in the backstage area, so just look around there and see what you can find. Alright, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. On stage banter. Um, what does this say? How to clean a spring lock suit. Um, hold on. That could have been what William Arthur could think about in the uh, FNAF movie. Hey, Richard. Yeah, I think I found it. What does it say? Uh, general diagnostics? Yeah, that's the one. All right. Uh, so what exactly is this new job for anyway? <laughs> If I'm being completely honest here, Kyle, I have no clue. I think management said the previous job was putting too much stress on the pneumatics or something, so they just wound up getting the whole thing reinforced. Huh. All right. Oh, here we go. All right, let's see. Are we only running diagnostics on the jaw? I've seen a computer or... like that before. Yep, we're only doing the jaw. All right, sounds good. Uh, you might want to stand back a little bit. God only knows what could happen if that thing malfunctions. <laughs> okay. He said standing back, so yeah. John Diagnostics starting now. Huh. That was actually pretty damn good for the first go. Should we do one more? Yeah, to be on the safe side, I think that's a good call. Alrighty, hold All on. Right. Uh, ah, here we go. Jeez, Richard, okay. You must have done quite a good job installing that job if it's able to hold up that well. <laughs> well, Kyle, I didn't study engineering for nothing. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, how do you say we end things up with a performance test? Yeah, sure. I don't see why not. Alrighty. I'll go get the floppy disk. Don't go anywhere. Alright. This may your really speed of us. See if it's like a panzer flute sided. Shut up, War Thunder! Get away! Get away! Yeah, get away, you War Thunder piece of crap. Okay, let's get you out and you in. Uh, hey Richard, which one should we do? Hold on, I'm coming over. Uh, do the one that says audience greeting. You sure? Yes, sir. Alrighty, audience greeting it is. 
And ladies and gentlemen, Fred Bear's Family Diner proudly presents to you Fred Bear's Singing Show. Howdy there, folks. My name is Fred Bear. And my name is Bob. And we would like to give you a warm welcome to Fred Bear's Family Diner. Oh, Jesus. God damn it, man. Mm, everything's going so well. I see now. I see now because in FNAF 4, um, in the lore, the crying kid, or known to be Evan Afton, um, I did, I actually did look up on what what is the crying kid's real name, and it said it was confirmed that the crying kid's name is Evan Afton. So. So I'm guessing, so I'm guessing that's because that's just, so that is how Evan died, because, because the Fredbear animatronic was broken. Show. I'm going to take a closer look. Jesus Christ, Richard, did you not hear me? I said stop the goddamn show. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my bad. Thank you. Help, the thing wasn't screwed on properly at all. Richard, do you have any idea how much of a safety hazard that could have been? <laughs> well, don't blame me, I didn't know. I was just following the torque specs that were in the manual. Well, whatever moron wrote that manual can take it and stick it far up their ass. <sighs> Sorry, Why are you I... coming out with that? <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm gonna go backstage and get a replacement bolt. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, sh is it that time already? Uh, uh, hey Richard, I'm, I'm gonna have to head off. What? Why? Do you not see the situation that we're in right now? Look, dude, I've got my son's football game to go to, and I promised him I'd be there. There's a box full of spare screws and bolts back there, so just, I don't know, look around there and see what you can find. The thing is, the new jaw has parts that were custom made for it. I highly doubt that there is anything backstage that'll work. Listen, Richard, Henry told me there's a birthday party here tomorrow, all right? So we can't mess this up. It's time for the birthday. Hey, Kyle, how you been, man? Eh, not too bad. How about yourself? Yeah, all good here. Oh, almost forgot to ask you. How'd the kid's game go? Did he score any touchdowns? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Second to last touchdown was his, and uh, it almost got him the win. Oh. The other team pushed back last 30 seconds of the play, though. Uh, hard. Anyways, okay. Uh, enough about that. How are the animatronics holding up? They've been working pretty damn well, from what I can tell. Uh, I may or may not have replaced. Hey, gentlemen. Oh, Mr. Emily. Wasn't expecting you oh, to be here Oh, there's Henry. <laughs> well... It is my nephew's birthday today, after all, so I couldn't afford to miss it. Not that he would let me. Uh, huh. Everything go last night? Oh, everything went extremely well. Not a single thing went wrong. That's great. I like to hear it. Uh, I've got some papers to fill out in the back, so I'll meet you guys to it, alright? Yeah, sure thing. See you later. Oh, there's Sparky. Welcome to the Sparky Story Show with your humble host, Sparky the Dog. <laughs> He's really energetic. I must tell you, it sure was a pain getting here today because I cycled all the way over here, but my bike fell over. Do you want to know why? Kyle, show started. Oh, already? All right, I'm coming over. Why do I always get these cringy mobile ads? Like, ladies and gentlemen, Fred Bear's birthday special is starting in three, two, one. Here they go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As many of you may already know, my name is Fred Bear, and I hope you all are having a terrific time here at Fred. God, Richard, everything's working perfectly now. How did you manage to fix it? Well. I replaced the bolts. 
but they were too big, so I may or may not have just temporarily taped them on. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me you f***ing taped them on? Oh, man, what else was I supposed to do? Wait three goddamn weeks for them to get new parts shipped? You like, could have just got in the... You could have just gotten the right sized bolts. Hold on. What the fuck are you doing? <gasps> no! Hey! Go over there! there! What are you doing? Richard, Richard, stop the show! Why? What's wrong? Holy s***, just go! Alright, sorry. Sorry, sorry, excuse me. Hey! You guys can't be up there! Don't no! Get away from here now! Shut up, you prick. Michael! Michael! Michael. Michael Afton. Why? If this kid manages to possess the animatronics and he manages to find Michael, Michael, you are dead. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Bro, look at this. Bro, look at this. Look. I'm literally tearing up. I actually nearly started crying there. That is sad. That is actually so sad. It's sad and scary at the same time. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Now, now what are you going to do, huh? Your father is going to be so mad, Michael. <laughs> God. Oh look! Mm. Rosie! 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 Hello? Hello? And she's off. Rosie. Come here. Rosie. Come here. My pets. Oh, come here. Come here. I, if you don't come here, I will attack you with this but <laughs> I think she wants to go for a walk. <laughs> But I can't go because I really wanted to react to these FNAF VHS tips. Don't worry guys, I do go out with my dog sometimes. I'm just gonna shut my door. Uh, hello? Hey Richard. Is everything doing alright down there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, it says Richard. Everything's doing fine. Uh, what are you doing up so late? It's just been a really stressful night for me, you know? And when you put what happened yesterday in their consideration, can you really blame me? Willie was devastated when he heard the news, and rightfully so. No parents of course William would, would be devastated. Because that's literally William's son. William's son died because of his older son. <laughs> you know what? There, what if there could be something alternate? What if, um, what if at the door, what if, like, at the entrance, what if they could put, like, a warning poster? Warning, animatronics are having some malfunction problems. Please don't get close to the animatronics. Um, th I don't know. That, that's, that would sound cool. If t for an alternate ending of the kid. Of course it's William. Of 
course. Will do, Mr. Emily. And... No, no, please. This might be one reason why William became a killer. Alright. Uh, because of how devastated he was. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> Wait, let me put that... Wait, did I... Wait a minute. Wait a second, let me just slow that down. It's me. <gasps> Wait. It's him. No way. That's weird. What's wrong? I don't know. All the cameras just went offline for some reason. <sighs> Come on, work for me, God damn it! Come on. <gasps> what the hell? The kid is possessed, yeah, Fred Bear. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just gonna have to go check something out. I'll I'll ring you back in a couple minutes. All right. Hello? Is anybody there? God damn it! I would suggest just leave. I know someone's there. Show yourself now. Jesus. Oh. Ghost. It's a goddamn ghost. <sighs> Fucking fantastic. Alright, you listen and you listen good. I don't have time for this bullshit to just come out. Uh. Uh oh. That music was really good though. What? Oh. No, 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 not now. What the hell? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> what the f is going on? I'm being just. Who's there? <gasps> what the frick? Where's Michael? I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> He just said, where's oh Michael? I don't, I don't know. Please, please. Please, please. Richard? Please, please. Holy hell. William's gonna give payback. I'm still here. Wait, that's the Fredbear plush. <gasps> Wait. Is that the same Fredbear plush from FNAF 4? Wait, what was that? Alright, so this next video is called Maintenance, and this is by Valox. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the last video that we're gonna react to in this video. And if you want a part two for FNAF VHS tapes reacting, um, please like and subscribe. So, let's do this. So, yeah, shout out to Valox for making this video. So, let's just get into this. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna be performing some maintenance checks on good old Freddy here and. Hopefully we can check to see what parts are still working and can be sold for money and what parts are going to need to be scrapped. Bonnie and Chica have already been done, the balloon kid was vandalized, and the fox was scrapped entirely after what happened. The puppet is missing, but we'll find it eventually. Uh -oh. That one's been around for a long time and can go for a lot at an auction. Anyways, let's power him on. That's always good to see. I'll be using a console here to test the animatronic movements and joints. Let's start with his right arm. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. Return the arm back to neutral and we can now check his left arm. Whoa, 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 okay. That might just be a little rush or something getting caught on the damage part. Great. I think it's completely damaged now. Can't even return it. We can check on that later. Let's just continue the assessment. Time to check the torso rotation. All right. Okay, that seems to work fine. Perfect. The motors are still in great condition there. How about we move the head now? Seems completely unresponsive. Let me power it all down and reset it. Uh, uh, that doesn't seem right. The what doesn't seem right? Huh, I don't... I don't really know what he's all about. Maybe they're just loose? What the? What is that? Leave! Now! <gasps> yeah, he's dead. Why are you just staying still? So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see a part 2 for FNAF VHS tapes, be sure to like and subscribe, and um, please subscribe to Forgotten Terror, uh, my VHS channel, because there will be more content coming soon, and uh, yeah. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.